How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're talking about social anxiety while vlogging. Does vlogging help you with it? Um, it helps me a lot. I tend to feel like I kind of suffer from social anxiety a little bit, not as, not as much as other people, but I feel like vlogging helps a lot. So social anxiety, if you don't know what it is, basically it's anxiety you get when you are going to somewhere new or you don't know where you're going or you don't know who you're going to meet. Anything to do with being social and outside of your comfort zone, I kind of get it, which is really funny because I feel like this whole vlogging channel is about, you know, adventures and going out and meeting new people and I, everything I'm talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, it's basically, it's it's the fear of social interaction. It's also, it's also the fear of being judged or valued evaluated by other people. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't care what other people think. I am not a professional, do not. I'm just speaking what I think. Make sure you reach out to somebody, like a therapist or, any, or a psychologist. This is so nice, this is so peaceful. The thing is that this kind of anxiety just doesn't go away on its own. They say that you need to actually work on it. And it's funny because it's like, this is a prime example. Like when I go out to these different hikes, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. But like right before I, you know, plan out what I'm gonna talk about and like what trail I'm gonna go on, I get like a little bit of it, a little bit of like an anxious feeling. And even though I'm by myself, completely by myself, it's that feeling of like, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I knew how to like, categorize it better so that way I could kind of like attack it better essentially what it is and it doesn't go away so it's just something I have to just keep building on like just putting myself into those situations where you know uh, talking to people and that's why I think vlogging helps a lot because you bring this camera out I feel like for me having the camera with me it's kind of like a support thing I got something to do while I'm somewhere like trying to create little movies in every scenario I go to it's that little bit of control that I like um, feeling that I'm not completely out of control um, with no control in these you know scenarios that I'm going in I feel like as I'm talking out loud I'm starting to realize what it is <laughs> so a good characteristic of like maybe maybe some people that suffer from it they tend to be like more shy more reserved uh, to themselves it doesn't mean that they don't want to be part of groups it doesn't mean that they won't don't want to go out I guess those are like their personality traits it's really funny because a lot of people that tend to create videos online video creators they always say like that they suffer from social anxiety or they, that they're just like introverts and stuff like that and it makes sense like think about it. if you're making videos online you're still being social people are still commenting you're still like being part of like that communication thing feeds that need but at the same time you're <laughs> at home if you're shooting these things at home it feels really good to talk about this and I really want to hear what you guys think if you guys is this you am I talking about you <laughs> let me know I want to know if this is something that you guys think about too make sure you write in the comments below if you suffer from this if you know somebody that has or maybe you just weren't aware of it I don't know it does help me a lot just to talk about it so you guys keep your vlog eye fly please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on Saturday for another vlog that video is giving me anxiety <laughs> I'm gonna still edit it